Hi friends, welcome to the third video in my PHP tutorial series. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about some common functions, just for the people who don't want to get super, super into it. We'll get those out of the way up front, um, just the common common functions you, you may be using. And we'll also get started probably on looping a little bit, uh, the different kinds of, of looping. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, you know, you look at this and you say, well, yeah, that's all, that's cool, but, you know, I can do all this in HTML. This is still static, you know, there's, there's no, there's no point to doing this. And, yeah, you're right, but I'm just trying to show you the principle, so, relax. Um, but here is an example of something you can't do with HTML. Um, so, we'll create a variable called the date and we're not going to set it to a string which we would normally do like this we're going to use a function now echo is a function and that just displays whatever is given to the echo function um, you can define your own functions in PHP we'll get to that in one of these videos um, but there's lots of functions um, that you give an input and they give you some kind of output. Um, you know, some don't actually need input, they take input from the system. Um, but the general idea is with a function, um, you know, let's say you have a function called foo, um, it'll look like, well, I don't need to show you what it'll look like. Um, but we'll have a variable called bar equals the function foo. And this is how you know it's a function because it has these these uh, parentheses at the end um, that indicates function. Um, if it doesn't take any input, it would just look like this. You know, say foo just you know finds a random number or whatever. But if it does take input, you put it like that. Um, if there's you know it takes multiple inputs, you separate them by by commas. So it would take input, and then as you can see, we have a variable equal to this function. So unlike echo, which just does something, it doesn't actually manipulate data, it just does a thing, um, this function will actually manipulate input in some way and put it into the variable bar. So then when we echo bar, we get a, you know, uh, whatever foo did to input. Okay, that's probably not very helpful, but um, I'll give you a concrete example. Um, the function date is a simple one. Uh, you can use it just like this, but I don't recommend it because it'll put it in a weird format. So date just echoes the current date. It doesn't echo it, it just returns the current date. Um, as input, you can specify the format you want. Um, so if we just want the year, we just put big Y as a, as a string. You know, we can do month, day, seconds, hours, minute, second, if you want to be super specific. We're just going to do year. We'll say it's for, you know, you want to put a some type of notice or whatever. So this is a very simple, very simple function. And this will set the variable, the date, as equal to the current year. So then we'll echo the date. And see what that looks like. So refresh this. 2012, which is the current year. Maybe not if you're watching this, but it's when I recorded it. Um, so that's just an idea. You know, that's a general way functions work. They look like this. You give them input, they make output, and then you can do something with the output. And that's where really the power of PHP is in, in dynamic type type processing. Um, so let's uh, go over some of the common ones you may run into. Uh, I don't know if we should do this first. Well, date is definitely one of them. Um, if you're just in this tutorial just to you know get the very basic, you just want to put the date at the bottom of your file, well, that's how you do it. Um, and 
something I probably should have mentioned is, you know, you can integrate this into other PHP, so you, or other HTML. So you can say the year is, and then wrapped in this. So anything wrapped in these tags gets processed as, as PHP. So um, you can stick it right, right all over your your HTML code, and and you can have as many of these opening PHP brackets as you want. You know, you could have a thousand of them in your code if you wanted. So, you know, some people use a ton of a ton of these breaks just to keep, you know, WordPress is notorious for that. Um, but I like to keep them to a minimum, you know, just basically what I need to do. Um, but here's just a, a quick example of how you can embed it, upload. Oh no. Um, <laughs> sorry, I told you wrong. Um, all this did was declare the variable, the date. Um, so there's two ways we could fix this. We can add echo to the date because we're not actually echoing anything. Um, or if you want to save a step, you don't have to put it right into a variable. You can just echo it without taking that intermediate step, which is what we'll do here. How embarrassing, I forgot to do that. So then that'll say the year is 2012. And that's just, you know, very common way of integrating PHP into your uh, your HTML code. All right, so let's get rid of all this and we'll go over, um, I guess before we do looping, we should do conditionals, if then type stuff. Um, this is another very powerful Thing that PHP allows you to do that you can't do with HTML code. So get our wrapper and then let's create a variable and it's we'll call it. Oh, one other variable I haven't told you about yet is booleans. Um, and they're just true or false. You can also represent true as one and false as zero. Those are It'll, it'll read them the same way um, in most cases. But if you mean true, you should say true. If you mean false, you should say false. That's, that's the best, uh, best strategy. And one other helpful trick is if you want a blank variable, um, just declare it to null. And that'll just make it a, a variable with nothing inside of it. Um, so those are really all, all that you're going to end up using. Um, so let's do conditionals really quick. Um, so if then, so we say if bracket. It's helpful to write your brackets first just so you know how many you have until you, you get good at it. So if var equals equals true. Um, and it's very important that you use two equals here. You can use two or three equals. If you use two equals, it means um, this this whole expression registers true if var equals true or if var equals one. Um, if you only want it when it equals true and not when it equals one, you use three equals, but that's kind of whatever, very specific thing. So. Um, if var equals equals true, and then spidery bracket. So we've seen parentheses, square bracket, and spidery bracket. So this basically says if var equals true, then do everything inside of this line. If you only have one line, if you just want to echo one thing, um, you don't need that. So you can just say echo hi. Um, but if you want to do multiple lines, um, you're going to need to put them inside of curly braces. Um, and again, always put your markup in. Um, otherwise, this would just say hi, 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 all in a row. Uh, 
So if var equals true, then do these things. Um, uh, we'll get to, you know, this is kind of a long expression. We, we, they're shortcuts, shorthand, um, but just stick with this for now. Um, so here's the if statement, and then we can say, there's two other things we can do. We can say else if, now else if only happens if the if isn't true. So if var two, or if var equals true, then this if gets done, that's it. It, it goes out of the whole if chain. Um, however, if var equals false, then this this expression wouldn't be true. This doesn't get executed, and it goes goes on down the line until it finds the next one. So uh, else if var equals equals always equals equals. Otherwise, it'll s change the value of var because we use one equals to set things. We use two equals to compare things. Two or three to compare things. So this says, if var is true, do these things. L, you know, if not, then if var is false, and sure, let's just, we'll use the three equals. No, oh, no, that's confusing. Sorry. Okay. If var is false, then echo false. And I mean, you can use the brackets if you have one line, if that's more convenient. Um, you can put them all on one line. Uh, you know, the line breaks really don't matter in, in PHP uh, as long as you have your your colons, semicolons in the right place. Um, so that would echo false because this is this statement is not true so therefore it's not if. So it would move on to this and this statement is true so it would do this. But let's say it's not true or false. Let's say it's baloney. Then the last thing we can do is an else. And this means if this doesn't work and this doesn't work, then do this. So it's basically the catch all at the end. So echo var. So you get the idea. And you can use this for strings, you can use this for numbers, if this equals four, if this equals fish. And neither of these things would be true because it equals baloney, spelled wrong. Um, so it would do first the if, then the else if, and it would go to the else. And then in the else, it'll echo var. So let's make sure that works the way we think it does. You always gotta do your testing. So it just spits out baloney. Um, now, if it was four, then we get the first if would be true, and the you know it'll never go to this. It'll skip this and this um, if the if is true. So you know if you're making these statements, always realize you know if if I have it like this, then this is never going to get executed even though it is true because once the if happens we're done and it just moves on so um, this is four so the first if is true is correct so that would give us hi 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 so you get the idea and this is helpful when you don't know what var is you know, if var gets inputted by the user, and you know, I'll show you how to do that. Um, then you're not going to know what this is. So you can say, you know, if it's this, then do this. If it's this, then do this. If, uh, otherwise, do this. Um, so that's the general idea with with conditional statements. Um, so next, we're going to do simple looping. That'll be the the next video very important concept but um, really not that complicated so